Hi everyone, this is Mr. Peter and here's a quick reminder of how to use a ratio table to solve a multiplication problem such as this one. Say we have 280 times 13. Okay, well 1 times 13 is 13 and I want to get from 1 to 280. One easy one would be to find what 100 times 13 is, which would be 1300. Okay, and then from there I can easily figure out well what 200 times 13 is, it would be twice as much as this one, um, so 2,600. And then, well, I'm going to actually go past my answer, and I'll explain why in a moment. I'm going to figure out what 300 times um, 1,300 is, and well, it would just be adding these two numbers here. So that would be 3,900, okay? And now I want to subtract 20 groups of 13. So to do that, I would first find, well, what's 10 times 13? Um, that would be 130. And then I can just double that to get to 20, um, which would be 260. And then to find our final answer of 280, I would just have to um, subtract our answer of 300 times 13 minus 20 times 13. So basically I would just have to solve um, 3900 minus 260 which is going to be 3640. Okay, so in the end 280 times 13 is equal to 3640.